Hello and welcome. Thanks for joining us. The show brings you Diamond Dynasty Baseball. It's the Drillers taking on the Cubs. All right, we'll be back to get this one started after this. All right, ready to get on. Way. Digging in, it's the speedy outfielder, Mickey Mantle. Mickey Mantle. The wind of the pitch. Swing and a miss. And that's how this game gets started. They say it went. The next pitch misses. Now one and two. Well, he's not afraid to fall into a two-strike count. Knows the strike zone very well. So much so that I think umpires will look at him and determine whether it's a ball or strike, if he swings or not. Buxton puts it away. One away. Man, that's one of those at-bats where you have to remind yourself it's about the process. He did everything right right there. Nothing to show for it. But in your mind, you have to convince yourself that it was a very good at-bat. And first offering is fouled off. No score just getting started. Top of the first. Next pitch misses outside. One ball, one strike. In the air out to center. Bellinger under it. Two down. Two outs, bases empty. Bo Bichette up to the, the dish. Bo Bichette. First pitch doesn't find the zone. And now it's even up. Just a little too quick on that front shoulder, front hip, front foot. Everything comes open. No way of making contact with that one. Next pitch is outside. Line drive, and the shot is retired, and that is that. Bottom of the first, and now it's going to be Jazz Chisholm. Leading off for the Cubs, the second the pitch. Jazz Chisholm. And first offering is fouled off. And here it comes. Fought off foul. Stays alive. The O2. And a swing and a miss. Down on strikes. One gone, bottom half of the first. That now, is here is Ron Santo. And he swings and misses, and it's nothing in one. Going to count one and two. Hit pretty well in the air out to center. Mantle sizes this one up, and there's two away. And here's Corey Seeker to hit. That is good. Obviously a guy That's who makes good job. contact, Corey. hits for average. But one of the things Seeker. in today's game, the value in the fact that he hits both righties and lefties. Swings through that one. 0-1. Oh They're so reliant on the matchups nowadays, Chris. And it's huge when you don't have to sit a guy or platoon him. When you can hit you know, both sides in terms of pitcher's arms, you're a guy that it's hard to take out of the lineup. And I think it's very important today when everything is under the microscope. Rocketed out towards right center. Makes the grab on the run. And that's the third out. Back 
here at Wrigley Field. New inning getting started. Leading off, Jazz Leading off Chisholm. The, Grillers, the third baseman. And a Jazz pitch. Chisholm. Here comes a pitch. And it's fouled away. Here's the 0-2. Foul ball, he stays alive. <sighs> Got him swinging, and there's one away. And now the batter is Carson Kelly. Carson Kelly. Swing and a ball lifted left field. Puts the squeeze on that, and there's two down. Just pulled off of it a little bit right there. That front shoulder coming open that instead of staying closed. The first if he does that, he's going to be able to go up the middle the other way with some authority instead of a fly out to left. Out to short, and that one finds its way through. Luis Robert now. That accepts the right fielder, Luis. And first offering is fouled off. Wish he had a slider. I really don't like that he doesn't have. I don't know. I always like sliders in this game. That's a run. And it's a one hopper off the wall. Should be extra base. Maybe not. And he starts his afternoon off right with a double. Here's Ronald Acuna Jr. at the play. On the ground. Base hit. One run is in. Acuna trying to wiggle out of a rundown now. Puts the tag on him. Didn't get the second run, you idiot. Oh my god. <laughs> Why are people so stupid on the base path? Just take your two runs and say it first, you idiot. Yeah, he goes for two, and now he's only got one run because of it. <laughs> Don't get people. Comes up empty on the swing. Oh, and two now. Swing and a slow roller. Throw on to Torkelson. Lead off band retired here in the second. Good late bite on that Not slider. Good. Got the hitter out That's front, rolled good. over on it. Exactly what he was supposed to do. Bellinger. And first offering is fouled off. That one lifted in the air, center field. Mantle makes the catch, and there's two down. This lineup's going to have to find a way to make him work a little harder out there on the that mound. I mean, he is just no mowing him down. He's Mitch. settling in. you got to make him uncomfortable. Hanniger. Maybe step out of the box, call timeout, do whatever it takes. And first offering is fouled off. The wind of the pitch. That one fouled off. Righty delivers. And one and two. That one misses in the dirt. And a pitch. And a foul ball. Left field, a little bloop single. Two out, base hit, keeps the inning alive. So two down, here's Adley Rutschman. Batting seven, the catcher, Adley. Robert Rutschman. moving under it. Makes the grab, and that's the inning. Out of the third inning, now to the plate, the pitcher, Shane Bieber. Smoltz back to work. High in the air, out to right. Hanniger settles underneath it, squeezes it, and there's one down. 
And now, Mickey Mantle, not your prototypical leadoff guy, Mickey. gets on base, yes, but also some power. Little chopper rolls foul. Swing and a ball lifted to center field. Brings it in, two away down. Now it's Corey Seager. The batter number five, second baseman, Corey Seager. High fly ball, pretty well struck out towards right center. That one on its way. And it's into the bleachers, out of here. Bobachek gets a chance to hit. Now batter, the first pitch just misses. There's a strike. Well, he looks fresh out there. Just needs to get a little more confidence and remember how good he's been in the past. Kicks and deals. In the air, center field. Bellinger settles under this one. He's got it. And that is out number three. Set for the bottom of the third. Here's Byron Buxton. He is quite an athlete. I mean, you look around the other sports, basketball, football, you feel like he could thrive in one of those sports, too. Swing and a miss. That's strike one. Not sure what's going on right there. No chance. Probably have some uh, funny texts from his buddies after the game. And he's down 0-2 as he swings through it. Swing and a bouncer. Close play, but in there. Next to hit will be the pitcher, John Smoltz. No pitcher. And a foul ball. Buxton gets his lead at first with nobody out. 0 oh and 2 as he waves at that one. With two strikes, may see some movement over there at first base, trying to stay out of a double play here. Swing and a miss. The velocity blasted it right past him. Second baseman Chisholm yeah. now in the box comes up empty with a swing there in the air right field Robert should have this one drops into the glove and yeah, there's two away maybe caught that one off the end just a little bit couldn't quite barrel it up enough to really drive it the third baseman swing and a high fly ball down the right field line Robert makes the catch, and that'll do it. And welcome back. Jazz Chisholm now. Leading off for the drill. The right hander back to work. The third baseman. Jazz. Chisholm. He swings and misses at the first pitch. 0-1. And, and he hits a ground ball right side. And he takes it himself for the out. Here's the power hitting catcher, Carson Kelly. Very good hitting catcher. He has become an all-star type of player. And first offering is fouled off. One down, base is empty. Swung on, belted. That's back there. Pulls it in on the warning track. Spencer Torkelson now, now at the plate. The Singled and scored his first Spencer time. Torkelson. And the first pitch misses for ball one. And he deals. Now the count, one and two after the swing and the miss. Oh, this is deep to left center. Way back there, on its way, gone. Base is empty with two away. Now it's the right fielder, Luis Robert. Really good piece of hitting last time. Going to the opposite field. Chisholm 
gloves it. Tosses to first. Third out. That ends the frame. Ready to go. Bottom four. And now the shortstop, Corey Seager. For Iowa. The shortstop, Corey. And first offering is fouled off. Bounce to third. Chisholm picks it up. And he's saved at first. And here is C.J. Crone. Rounded out his first shot. And that one fouled off. Line to left. And that's a base hit. Throw to third. Safe. And runners at the corners to start the inning. And up to the plate comes Cody Bellinger. And the first offering is not close. Next offering is foul back. Seeger, the runner at third. Crone on at first with nobody out. Swing and a miss. That's strike two. Got him. One out. Here's a big power threat. Mitch Hanniger. And he's already singled in this game. Hanniger. And that one wrapped foul. Yeah, he can move the ball around, add and subtract, get some weak contact at times. So... You don't worry as much about him in this situation. Very capable of getting the ground ball and getting out of this little jam. And Acuna able to make the grab. Runner tags from third. The tag gets him, and it's a double play to end the inning. Welcome back, and here is Ronald Acuna Jr. Leading off for Oklahoma City. Ronald Acuna Jr., a guy who burst on the scene in 2018. He was only 20 years old. And he is one of the great talents in baseball right now. He swings and hits a fly ball. Center field. Bellinger makes the grab. One pitch and one out. And now the pitcher, Shane Bieber. Now batting. The pitcher, Shane Bieber. And first offering is fouled off. to kick the pitch that one the other way Chisholm the throw to first two up two down this is important if he can go one two three here will be a very yeah, positive sign for him and for his team Mantle. that one blasted deep to right that's back there pulls it in on the warning track Bottom of the inning. Now here is Adley Rutschman. Leading off for the call. The catcher. Adley. Rutschman. The pitch. Swing and a miss as he was late that time. Robert settles under it, makes the grab, and there's one down. And here is Byron now Buxton. Back. The left fielder, Byron Buxton. Fouled off left side. And the righty deals. And fouled off. Hit hard, base hit. Now he turns and heads for second. Now back in safely at first. Man at first with one gone. John Smoltz digs in now. And there's a foul ball. Now a move being made for a pinch hitter. Wander Franco. Runner on first and one down for him. Bump 
Buxton leads off first with one away. This one in the dirt. Swing and a miss, and he got him. Two gone. Here's the second baseman, Jazz Chisholm. No batter, number two. Second baseman, Jazz Chisholm. First pitch, not close. Well, if he's going to steal second, you want him to go early in the count. That way he's not a distraction to the hitter at the plate. Go ahead and get it out of the way so the hitter can focus on the pitch. That one is absolutely belted. That's back there. And out of here. Ron Santo, the next to hit. Now back, the third baseman. In the air, right side. Makes a nice grab at a full sprint. And that is that. Harry Wood taking over on the mound. The offense will need to be ready for the breaking stuff. He's got a great curveball. Well, at this point in the ball game, we're talking about middle innings, and we need a little length out of this arm coming out of the bullpen. We'll see just how many outs he's able to give his skipper. And a pitch. That one ripped. Back there. And gone into the home run basket. So up next, Bo Bichette. Always exciting to see a leadoff home run in an inning. Kind of gets the offense fired up, and you start to expect a big inning. That one hit to right. And Bichette is retired. One down. Down the third baseman, Jazz Chisholm. It's interesting he plays yeah. kind of a, a power spot defensively, but runs pretty well. So when you're looking at that position, you're not expecting someone that has maybe above average speed, but he does. Right side, Chisholm collects it. Fires to first on the run. Fine play in the hole for the out. Two outs, base is empty. Now, Carson Kelly. And he swings and misses at the initial offering. Kelly tries to hold up, appeal to first, and no swing, says Joe McDonald. Next pitch has popped up. And makes the grab. And that'll do it. here at Wrigley Field bottom of the six Seeger stands Lee in down for Iowa not shortstop Beaver back to work Seeger steps on first for the out stepping in CJ Crone one for two CJ Crone First offering, misses the mark. If you're on the mound right now, you know you have to retire this hitter. If he gets on base, it could open up the floodgates for this offense to score some runs. Kicks and fires. So, a foul ball makes it one and two. Here's a high chopper. Throw is low, and he can't hang on safe. Bellinger up to hit. 
the center fielder, number 35. And first offering is fouled off. Bellinger. Crone over at second, one down. Comes up empty on the swing, 0-2 now. That's hard hit on the line. Puts the squeeze on it. Runner tagging for third. And he moves up to third. Now two away. Now batting Mitch Hanniger. This is a true five-tool guy. Not very many of them out there, but when he's on the field, you can't take your eye off. And first offering is fouled off. Bounce to the left side. Fires over to first. And that is the inning. Here at the ballpark, stepping in the long ball threat, Spencer Torkelson. The pitch. Spencer Torkelson. They say it went. Check swing, but he went too far. And it's 0 2. Rolled over to third. Fires over to Crone. That's the first out in the top of the seventh. And now it's Luis Robert. Pretty amazing athlete this guy is. Power and speed. Quite a threat. I mean, you're talking about someone that could steal your bag and go deep. Bo Jackson, anyone? And that's a base hit. One gone runner at first. And now it's Ronald Acuna Jr. First off, bring it just misses. Oh, now this one's high and deep. Way back there. On its way. Gone. So digging in, Shane Bieber. Now that the pitcher. Shane Bieber. And a pop-up. Right side. Foul territory. Paniger gliding to his left. Your attention, please. Pinch hitting. Byron Buxton. Aaron Buxton getting ready to hit. Here's your one. Swing and a miss, and he waves at that one. Got him looking. That's the second out. Mickey Mantle now at the plate. The center fielder, number seven. Mickey. Foul ball there. Ground ball, left side, and foul ball. And a pitch. Stays alive. Center field. Bellinger gets under it. Brings it in for the third out. Ladies and gentlemen, please join us for the traditional seventh inning stretch. Ladies and gentlemen, your attention please. Now pick bottom of the seventh, Let and here's the catcher, Adley Rutschman. The wind of the pitch. And first offering is fouled off. The catcher, Adley. In the air, right field. Robert, long run. Stretches out and hauls it in. 
Gotta love the over-the-shoulder catch. I tell you what, those are really Come fun to make. Number 20 so up next, Byron, Byron. Buxton. Buxton. He swings and fouls one off. The pitch. Fought off foul. The wind of the pitch. Swings and lines a base hit into left field. A pinch hitter in the pitcher spot. Francisco Lindor. Runner on first with one down point. Rolled softly, but that goes foul. The pitch. And that one fouled off. Going two now. In the air, left field. Under it is Acuna to make the grab. Two away. Here's a speed threat, Jazz Chisholm. Now we talk about guys with good baseman. speed, and yeah. definitely he has it. But pushing yeah. the offense aside for just a second, Chris, it's the defensive side that I think the speed factors in the most. Swing and a broken bat flare. To first, and he beats it, everyone's safe. So two on, the two away. Now, now the number two hitter, Ron Santo. Hard hit, left side. Now the one. That's the third. And that's just foul. Two outs. Laced into left. That's a base hit. Runner around third. He will score. It's six to three. Corey Seeger digs in now. He's got the power, but great contact skills. One of the best contact hitters in the game. That one carried. Gone! Wow. <laughs> and just like that, we have a tie game, folks. <laughs> Holy smokes. <laughs> Holy smokes. I didn't know that I had that in me, but I, apparently I do. Hidden in the back seat of my... <laughs> Learning how to... Jesus. Right down the pipe. I can't hit it for some reason. Look at that. My PC goes flying in the bottom left. And then that one just strikes out. God damn. <laughs> Woo. Okay. Four runs in that inning to tie the game. And I don't have great... Oh, lefty, righty, lefty. Crap. I should have warmed up one of my lefties. All right. I guess it's Joe Nathan time. Come on, Joe. Let me warm up on these lefties. Even though... Oh, this Billy Wagner have no stamina. I must have, did I use him already? Must use him last game. Did not expect this game to be close, and so now we're magically in this game. That's where I want that. I'll take that. I've definitely got a lot better this game than in previous years because I normally like a game like this would have been done. 6 2, it would have been over. This guy's hitting the up. I shouldn't throw this up. He's going to hit it. Ah, good. He's been hitting those for home runs, those up, those fastballs high in the zone, which is what I throw a lot of. Number <laughs> two. That was a good pitch to hit right down the heart of the plate. Had pretty good timing on it. Just got underneath it a little bit and popped it up. And next will be the cleanup hitter. Jazz Chisholm. They say you went. Try to keep good speed off. Oh, he's got a slider. I'm not even throwing the slider. Jesus. Give me the slider. I love sliders. <laughs> Throw that out of the zone. Oh, 2 Give me a good fastball. Perfect. That's it. I don't even. I. That's perfect really where I want it. I'll take that all day. And every night. That's what I'll take. Uh, look at that. That's exactly what I wanted. Getting him all over the place. Perfect. That's why I have a guy with a slider. All right. Double, you're sitting down. What are we in the... Is this the bottom of the A? We'll get our big guys up. See if we can get a run.
the pitch. And first offering is fouled off. He's a bullpen arm that keeps the ball in the ballpark. But obviously, out of the bullpen, you're looking to limit home runs. Yeah, and that's why he's such a high leverage arm. Just doesn't matter for him. He looks at attacking the zone and attacking hitters regardless of the situation. Left hand hitter waits. And a foul ball. And a one two again. Liner to second and picked on the hop. Got him. Great play to keep the leadoff man off base. So digging in, Mitch Hanniger. Now batting, right fielder, Mitch Hanniger. First pitch doesn't find the zone. Ah. Okay, I didn't think that was a good bat bat there, but I'll take that. Poking it in the right field. Nice. Mitch Hanniger, my man. This is my guy right here. I know he's over three in this game, but this is my guy. I like this guy. Ah, early, early, early on the cutter. Dang it. Try where I want it, though. Ah, underneath it too much. Dang it. drifts towards it. He's got it. That's out number two. And now Byron Buxton. The left fielder, number 25. Byron. Buxton's three for three was three singles. Okay. <laughs> I put him at the A hole because he had been struggling. Come on, Buxton, get another hit. Is that gone? Dang, that was hit good too. I'll take that. I'm not mad with that. I'm always happy when the ball's in play instead of struck out. You know, like even that Mitch Hanniger hit. That was a, you know, wasn't a great hit, but it works. I'm gonna stick with Joe Nathan here. I like his pitch repertoire better. Plus, it's still tied. If it was obviously not tied, I would switch to uh, Chapman or somebody. But we're gonna st we'll stick with Nathan. Can't. There's no way you can hit a home run on that. I know he's trying to, but there's no way you're hitting a home run on that up and in fastball if I throw it right where I want it. This guy's two for three. This guy's doing work on me here. Let's see. Ooh, come on. That doesn't do me any good throwing a fastball like that. Ooh, not ready for the curveball, I see. I hit the slider. Don't hit that. Ooh, gosh, right where you don't want. Middle, middle of the plate. All right, Luis Roberts. This is why I kept him in. I got a bunch of righties who can't hit the ball. Let's go up out of the zone. I want to see if he swings out of the zone. Yep. No way I'm diving for that. There we go. Nice job, Nathan. Okay. Come on. Can we win in the bottom of the ninth? Imagine. Um. Crap, I don't have a lot of guys left. Here's Jackie Robinson. He's got vision. Just need a hit. Get my bullpen. I got two guys ready. Okay. That's a bad pitch, bro. Let's go. Give me that double for Jackie. Nice. Here we go. Let's go. They don't double. Here we go. Chaz Chisholm, my man. He's already got a bomb in this game. Get a winner. Get a winner, Chaz. Let's go, Chaz. Let's go. Huge win for me. Nice. Let's go. See, now, like, me last year would have never had a chance in that game. Never had a chance. Let's go. <laughs> Jazz Chisholm. Let's go. Oh. 
Nice. Okay, I'm learning how to hit the game. Look at that, 13 hits. I'll take that. Seven runs. I need to stop giving so many home runs, though. With my, I don't like... Uh, who, who was I using there to start? My starter. Uh, I can't think of his name. Uh, John Smoltz. Yeah, I don't I exactly like him. Kerry Wood is just frustrating. So what did I have here? Three hits with Chisholm. One for four with Santo. Seager went two for five. That's good. Oh for four with Bellinger, Hanniger, and Buxton. That Buxton at bat three for four is good. Though. My catcher did not. Uh, Rutschman. All right. We'll take that. Huge win.